Hello and welcome to the Forked Road. This is my first YouTube channel and it is going to be dedicated to the Comma 3X device and all of the different forks that are available for the software that it can run. So, for those of you who don't know, the Comma 3X device, what this thing is here, mounted to the car, it's uh, essentially an Android tablet device that has cameras um, and software on it that will connect to the systems of most modern cars. I believe now it's over 300 models that they support. And what it does is it gives you some driver assistance features. As you can see me demonstrating the lane change right there, I turn on the blinker, I nudge the wheel a little bit, and then it changes lanes for me. Another thing that it's doing right now is steering. It has the lane lines that it can see and decides what it can drive in. So it's overall a really cool device. And uh, for anybody interested in seeing the updates and how the progress of it, feel free to subscribe to the channel and we'll be posting updates. Currently we are testing out Sunny Pilot. That seems to be the one with the most reviews, the most positive feedback, so it's the one I installed first. That's what we're demonstrating here today. However, there are some other popular ones called Dragon Pilot and Frog Pilot. Those are first on the list to test out after we get some time in on this software. So we've come behind this car here. It's noticed it. It has the little triangle, which means that it knows how far the car is and what speed it's going. So I'm not on the gas or brakes, it's adjusting all those adjustments for us as we come up to this red light. We are in experimental mode for Sunny Pilot, so if we didn't have as much traffic and we were coming up on this red light, then Sunny Pilot would actually see that itself and make the car come to a stop. We are going to make a turn here. Again, all I've been doing is just making minor adjustments. The car is still mainly handling everything. Okay, so I've never been in this situation before. Currently it's following that car. So now does it see the red light or is it gonna... No, it looks like it does see the red light. Um, it's gonna keep pulling up while this pedestrian is coming across the street. So I'm just gonna manually take over there. We have the green now. Gonna let these pedestrians go. And anytime you take a turn, it usually says steering temporarily unavailable. But then it kicks back in in just a couple of seconds. Kick back in the longitudinal control. And now we're back to not needing to do much. This car does have blind spot monitors, so you'll see those red sidings. So a couple adjustments that we have to make there when we're wanting to switch lanes, but most part, this is all being handled by the car itself. And that beeping is going to be me stepping on the brakes, taking over. So, And that wasn't because I had to, that was more just because I'm still in the habit of driving the car myself. This is a great example of a curved road here and an example of how it's not perfect either. So the road kind of expanded there. It saw that and decided to center it itself in that wider lane there. I'm not necessarily wrong. 
it's not perfectly human just yet. These curves are all being handled. Breaking, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. That was one of the most natural breaks I think I've felt so far. And yeah, that curved road into a turn lane. It's not the smoothest connection, but. Curve road here. With no intervention from me, the car will just pick itself where it needs to go. So this is a great curved road to demonstrate that it can handle it here. Just a couple of the speed limit. And it can handle the curves perfectly fine. Nice wide lane, perfectly centered. All right, perfect situation here. We've got a red light coming up. Let's see if the comma sees it. It does see it. It sees the bread breaking. We're coming to a halt. And there we go. So that's the experimental mode, using its understanding of what's going on to come to a stop at a red light. We'll wait till this turns green. And then without me even touching the gas, it should start itself. And there we go, starting up and driving off. Cool part about that is that this car, without the comma AI, does actually not have that stop and go feature. Um, just I don't know if it wasn't available or just wasn't on this car here, but it uh, not a way to do that. But as soon as we get the common AI in here, they have a little stop and go trick in the Sunny Pilot, where it can override that, and yeah, it sees these cars that aren't in their lane, and it's adjusting. So we're back on the highway here, showing off a little bit more highway driving, but yeah, even with the bumps in the road there, it still adjusts itself, keeps itself centered. Overall, pretty happy with the purchase, and if you're considering it, would highly recommend it. I just heard they lowered their price. Now it's only $1,000, so if this is a product you think you're interested in and you have a car, highly recommend testing it out. The more people we have testing it out, the faster they're going to be able to make it better and hopefully get to the point where one point it just take over completely. But yeah, on the highway here, taking this curve all on its own here, up to highway speeds. No need for input from me, just totally handled by the comma. We're going to change lanes here, so turn on the blinker, give it a nudge. Changed lanes just fine. Just want to thank you all for watching. As you all can see, this is a brand new channel. This is the very first video, so any subscriber, any comment, all love is appreciated. Hope to see you back on the channel here when we have an update in the future. Peace out.